white power. We're the superior race. We're the aliens. That's right. That's why we own everything. Everybody, you know, white people, we have made the world what it is. And so don't you forget that. Yeah, I have nothing against people of different color or anything. They can work for us. They can come clean my house. That's fine. They can drive my cars. But we're the superior race. We're the ones that make everything work. You look through all out history. All right, Shalom. Call Hello Yahweh by Shem Yahushah, by Hashem Rakhal Kadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone who taught me this truth. Enough respect to the fellow Akim, the house of David, the hopeful elect that's pushing his truth in sincerity and risking their lives to do so across the globe. Yahweh by Shem Yahushah, Rakhatam to you, brothers, as well as the Akim and the Akwath that's listening and learning to you as well. Shalom. This is your brother Yahweh Saab coming to you again from the branch here at Birmingham with this 100% doctrine through the spirit and powers of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, Yahweh being the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai being the only begotten Son. And yeah, so you heard in the clip, man. And we in the year 2020, year of prophecy, and you have to understand there is no more guesstimating on who your enemy is. All right, there is no, uh, all right, pop quiz. You know, no jeopardy, all right? When someone asks you who is your enemy, if you're a so-called Negro, Latino, or Native American, it should pop right into your head, the so-called white man, which is biblical nationality, is the Edomites. He owns everything, all right? Which he don't own everything. It's, it's the head tribe, which is Amalekite, man. Okay, we're going to get into these scriptures, all right? And let, all right, this lesson, you know, uh, I'll let you know through this lesson that their pride has deceived them, all right? You're talking about a weak and feeble man, all right, which has stolen everything, all right, and made it his own. Every nation that he ran across, he actually stole and made it his own. That's why he, we call this place Babylon the Great. And the Bible, all right, coined that, and the scriptures is right on point, you see? So, like I said, when you understand who your enemy is, all right, you understand they're proud, they're arrogant, all right, they deceiving, all right, and you got a, some damn professor with some flip-flops on letting you know that we're the superior race, all right. But see, that's the earth was given into the hands of the wicked, man. But yeah, rightfully so, but this is the power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh showing us our transgressions, man. So without further ado, let's start at the book of Obadiah. Chapter 1, verse 3, rightfully so, says that the pride of thine heart hath deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the cliffs of the rock, whose habitation is high, all right, figurative, figuratively, literally, all right, that saith in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? And this is how these devils think. You got your proud president, DJ Trump. All right, untouchable, and you got this feeble man as well. Seems to be untouchable. Well, guess what? They'll know us, shape, form, or fashion in the position of these first fruits of slavery. You see, they're gonna have to wake up in slavery. Thus said the word. They're gonna have to wake up in that captivity, okay? And it's gonna be a painful servitude for these devils, man. All right. You want to drive a car of an Edomite. You want to, uh, you know, what clean his house, as he said. You have to understand, there's no more locking hands. There's no more uh, conversating and trying to come and unite with this devil, man. All right? They've been found out, man. All right? The pride of thine heart had deceived them, man. Let's get a, uh, let's go to the book of Job, chapter 20. Starting at verse 7 says, Yet, all right, yet he shall perish forever like his own dung. They which have seen him shall say, Where is he? Yeah, to all you people that still want to lock arms, you two thirds out there, these other nations that cling on to Egypt, the Pharaoh, trust in them, okay? You're going to realize, Oh, where is, where is he? Because there's going to be no more Edomites 
remaining, man. Once you have about Shem Yahushua gets done with him. All right. Thus said the word. Verse 8. He shall fly away as a dream and shall not be found. Yeah. He shall be chased away as a vision of the night. And that vision is basically a nightmare to these Edomites. Because they see the prophets on the highways and hedges. They see us bringing out this 100% truth. That's, that's the worst thing they could have did. Was ultimately introduce us to the full extent of the law, which is the Bible, and create the internet by the way of Yahweh by Shem El Shai. You see, that's what he said. We created, they think that civilization started in Greece. Greece, man, how dare he, man, when everything they have got they stolen from nations. All right, pretty much to the nation of Israel, man. You see. And that dream is no more in America, man. The doors are shut. All right? No man can come in. All right? Thanks to uh, Amazon. <laughs> you know? Get anything off Amazon, man. So what's next after he went on a rent? Oh, we the superior. We the this. We the that. Man. So like I said, there's no more guesstimating who your enemy is. Jeremiah 22 and 13. Woe unto him that built his house by unrighteousness and his chambers by wrong, that useth his neighbor's service without wages and giveth him not for his work. Yeah, did they pay for slavery? Did they pay each and every one the descendants of slavery as in the form of what? Reparations? No. That's using his neighbor's service without wages. All right? That totally goes against the law. All right? And this is that house he built unrighteous. You see? He built this, these these houses and these cities, all right, by wrong. Okay? Matter of fact, let's get that. This is the book of Habakkuk 2 and 12. Woe to him that buildeth a town with blood and established a city by iniquity. And just by that video clip, man, he's showing his iniquity. He's making his iniquity to be remembered, man. And this is nothing but the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahushua is being poured out on these Edomites to go on their rants, their raves, their rallies, <laughs> this last cry. <laughs> hey, that's the spirit, Esau. All right. This is their last little hope for a little glimmer of light. But they feel that their kingdom is slipping through their hands. They cannot do anything about it. <laughs> Let's go back. <laughs> Check it out. We're the superior power. race. We're the aliens. That's right. That's why we own everything. Everybody, you know, white people, we have made the world what it is. And the Amalekites own it. They own the banks. What does he own? A pair of damn slippers. Shirt tail tucked in. And some damn dickies, man. Dockers, man. This is your superior race. This is who y'all look up to. This is who y'all want to join hands to. This is who y'all want to lock elbows with. This is who y'all want to uh, get equal to, man. This feeble person here. So don't you forget that. Yeah, I have nothing against people of different color or anything. They can work for us. They can come and clean my house. That's fine. They can drive my cars. But we're the superior race. We're the ones that make everything work. You look through all out his... And that's the spirit. The video cut off when he was trying to go into his little uh, uh, rant and his little pride cut right off. And that's what's going to happen. All right. By the way of y'all, by Shem Al Shad, just thus said the scripture. Soon as he's getting ready, fill his belly. Soon as he's getting ready, get that plate. Try to perform his little enterprise. How about Shem Al Shad going to take him out, man? You see? There's no more guesstimating who your enemy is. <laughs> they showing their true colors, man. And that's the spirit. The book of Second Ezra, 11 and 44, the highest also hath looked upon the proud times, and behold, they are ended, and his abominations are fulfilled. So that's all they can do now is what? 
talk about what they have, have achieved by the way of rape, robbing, plundering, murdering. <laughs> and but they're the superior race. <laughs> the only reason they in this uh, our predicament because we transgressed the laws. And that's our mistake. Y'all by Shem Yaw Shai has set up the basis of men. <laughs> Iron the clay, man. Iron the clay. Ten toes, man. Y'all know what I'm talking about. The true believers. This is uh the book of uh, Ecclesiastes, also known as Sirach. Chapter 23 and 8 says, The sinner shall be left in his foolishness, both the evil speaker and the proud shall fall thereby. It's no more. What do you what do you look forward to, man? You hear this guy? Check him out. Fight power. We're the superior race. Right. That's why we own everything. Everybody, you know, white people, we have made the world what it is. So don't you forget that. Don't you yeah. forget that, that he destroyed the earth, man. Heaven and earth is rising up against him, literally. The heavens within us, Lord will, all right, we continue to endure. And the earth as well, the animals, all right. How about Shem Yahushua sending plagues, fires, earthquakes, tornadoes, uproars of the people, GMOs, chemtrails. Destroy them, destroy, destroy the earth, man. All right. And this is what he proud about. That's what he proud about. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> Ecclesiastes 23 and 8 again. The sinner shall be left in his foolishness. Both the evil speaker and the proud shall fall thereby. They're going to fall, man. Simply said and done. There's no way around this. Now. There's no way to escape judgment. All right? They were so superior. <laughs> you know? They escaped judgment. But not so. Jeremiah 50 and 31. Behold, I am against thee, O thou most proud, said the Lord, power of hosts. For thy day is come, the time that I will visit thee. And the most proud shall stumble and fall and none shall raise him up. And I will kindle a fire in his cities, and it shall devour all round about him, man. So, hey, hey, uh, it's going to be birth pains to that man. It's going to be his, his, his face failing him, turning red when shit hit the fan. <laughs> but they the superior race. That ain't what the scriptures say. Malachi 4 and 1. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yeah, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble, and the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. However, they're the superior race. They can't even have children anymore. They dwindling. Their numbers are falling. Their system is failing. America is done. Destruction by the way of the word and by the way of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh So with that, I pray this lesson was edifying and comforting. I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Kwa Kadash. Till the next time I say Shalom. On to the next one.